Breaking news. You will be shocked. As Pastor Tunde Bakari says, anyone that wants to lead Nigeria must negotiate with the North. <laughs> I think you to say the matter not be serious matter. Not very serious matter. That's what Pastor Tunde Bakari has said. He said anyone that wants to rule Nigeria as at today must negotiate with the North. If you can't do that, you are not ready. You are not ready to lead the country. You are not ready to lead Nigerians and you will be there. So, I mean, this is what is happening now as we speak. Uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari has said, anyone who has intention to rule this nation must, must, must be ready to negotiate with the North. And this is the, what the North we are saying when the Southern governors came together and said, well, uh, if you want to demand for uh, 2023 presidency coming to the South, you must come and negotiate with the North. So, and you think that uh, uh, everything can just... You know, you can just make your... No, it doesn't just happen like that. There are powers that be. You may not like the hearing of it, but it's the honest truth. There are powers that be. Okay? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Pastor Tunde Bakari has told Nigerians that anyone who wants to lead Nigeria must negotiate with the North. Pastor Tunde Bakari, the general overseer of the Cathedral Global Community Church, has stated that anyone who wants to be the next president of Nigeria must negotiate with the North as part of the country. Bakari, who spoke to this day, stated that the North has a way of giving you the crown and holding the scepter. The clergyman, however, said this could only change if Nigerian constitution, which is described as a glorified death certificate sentence re released on the other parts of Nigeria is torn to pieces and a new constitution is in place. According to him, the way our country is constituted right now, no matter who wants to lead this country, anyone who wants to lead this country right now and today will have to negotiate with the North. And the North has a way of giving you the crown and holding the scepter. And that if that's going to change, oh, our very glorified constitution, that certificate that is called Nigerian constitution must be ripped, torn to pieces. I honestly say it again and again. Almost all the things that are going on in the North in this day and age, in the North, in the day of Ameli Bello, are no longer there. The textile industry where they dominate are not there anymore. The granite pyramid, etc. And what they have is what they hold. They have power. Whether you like it or not is the bitter truth. Nigeria is structured in such a way that no section can win an election by itself. The southern cannot win an election without reaching out to the north. And the northern cannot re win an election without reaching out to the south. This is the way it is. Pastor Tunde Bakari lamented that things have gone worse despite the promises made by this administration before they came into power. Nigerians believed our expectations were very high. Guess what? He came crash landing. We are back on our back on the ground. I have sat down and thought about it closely. This nation is not what you thought it would be. Nigerians expected very high. The ill health is ravaging the country. God must help us. So this is Pastor Tunde Bakari saying, what we thought is not what we are saying. Oh, Nigerians, are you talking about expectation over the roof? People fought for Buhari, you know that. People fought. Yes, people fought for this Buhari you are saying. They fought for him. Men and women, they fought for Buhari. People used their own money, you know, to encourage people to vote. Buhari has no knowledge of it. And yet, he's the one now going, uh, you know, going against the people, you know, calling them uh, a fool, so to say, with all that they have done. This is not right. This is not acceptable and cannot be accepted anywhere in the world. Even, the, even, even, even nature, even nature, we will fight against that person who is now currently, you know, after being sacrificed for, 
is the one that is, you know, against the very people who fought for him. That's what Buhari is doing. That's what he's doing. And so everybody must now rise up and say no to this oppression staring Nigerians in the face. The people who call themselves governments, the people who call themselves leaders, Buhari and the rest of them, how Nigerians fought for them, how Nigerians supported them. Do you know the very people are the very ones who are making things unbearable? Do you know the very people are the very ones who have, who have be decided to ensure that Nigerians are maltreated and you think it will just go down the drain, memory lane just like that? It does not just happen. No. If you think things just happen, it does not just happen. So what is happening today? People fought. People came out. People gave their resources. People did all they can. Some people even broadcasted, encouraged, you know, told people that, yes, we are getting a savior. A Messiah is coming, my dear. The administration started and they started, you know, by flogging people who come out to protest and to say this is not working. Buhari himself went out to protest. Welcome to Nigeria. Injustice, order of the day. Oppression, order of the day. And everybody's quiet. Oppression, order of the day. All these things happening, you know, points to the fact that we cannot continue like this. No way. We can't continue like this now. We can't continue like this. If we do, we give ourselves no opportunity for a change. It is wrong. It is wrong. We must call a spade a spade. That is the only way to move forward. We must be able to tell ourselves the truth. You know, the current predicament and all that we are experiencing and all that is going on shows us truly, really, people you taught, you know, should be the ones, you know, leading, giving directions are the very people this day and age as we speak, causing all these atrocities. The people you taught should have better knowledge and understanding of the things going on are the very ones destroying the foundations. And one will say, oh, eh, blah, 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 blah. What are you talking about? On a more serious note, what are we talking about? Is this what we planned? Is this how it should be? People are suffering, you know. People are really suffering. People are dying. Things are not what you thought. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now. Don't forget you have a voice. Let it count. Bye.